are several ways in which peppers are produced. Some peppers are produced by vegetable or pepper transplant growers where they start seeds in small trays such as these and they'll grow them out and then they'll either transplant them out into their own fields or they'll sell them to other growers for their use for growing on. Others will use peppers to start and finish in the greenhouse. So they'll bring in seedlings and they'll transplant them either into pots, troughs, or grow bags. And of course we have some growers that want to grow peppers organically. So based on all these needs, which are all different, there are different mixes that are required. In our ProMix line, we can offer different mixes to address these specific needs. For pepper transplant growers, there are multiple products that will work well for them. The first one, ProMix FPX, is a fine peat, fine perlite mix. It's basically germination growing media and is ideal for, cont for containers such as plug trays or for other seed germination application. The perlite content in there will help to induce more drainage so you get less water retention, making it really the ideal growing media for low light, short day growing during the winter months, early spring months of the year. The next product we'd recommend is the Promix PGX, which is a fine peat, fine vermiculite growing media. Like the FPX, it too is a germination mix, except this one retains a little bit more water, making it more of an ideal germination mix during the, let's say, late spring through summer months during production. Because of the vermiculite that's in there, it tends to nest in nicely with the peat moss, so that when you have a tray of plants, they pull much easier because the root ball will tend to stay intact better. Another option is to use our Promix BX Mycorrhizae, which is a peat perlite vermiculite growing media. Now the Promix BX is not really germination media as such, but a lot of growers use it very successfully because they like the, the fact that it's a little bit more coarse so it drains better, and it's ideal for 72 size plug trays or larger. Now for the certified organic grower, the best option for, for that particular situation would be the Promix PG Organic. This too is also germination media consisting of a fine peat, core, and fine vermiculite mix. It's great, it has good water retention, and also is good for year-round production. Now if you're growing peppers in the greenhouse, either in large pots, troughs, or grow bags, some of the media we'd recommend to you would be, first of all, the Promix BX. The Promix BX is basically a coarse peat, coarser peat, with perlite and vermiculite. It's designed to have a lot of water retention, also good aeration. It's a good mix to use year round for pepper production. The second product we'd recommend would be the Promix HP Mycorrhizae, which also is a peat perlite mix, very similar to BX, but it has extra perlite, so it gives it more air porosity, better drainage, and lower water retention. Therefore, making it ideal for use during the winter months or the early spring when it's cloudy, it's cold and it's easier to overwater plants. And quite frankly, at that time, you can see more diseases. Now for the organic uh, pepper grower, we recommend the Promix MP. Promix MP is a peat core perlite mix, and it's ideal for the year-round production of organic peppers. However, what makes Promix unique is not just the fact that it's a combination of peat perlite and all that, it's the active ingredients. The active ingredients we use are actually natural ingredients, they're not genetically modified, that were extracted from the soil. The first active ingredient is mycorrhizae. Mycorrhizae is a vesicular arbuscular endomycorrhizal fungi called glomacin erratices. It basically colonizes the root tips of the pepper plants, and then the fungus grows from the root tips out into the surrounding growing media to bring in water and nutrients where the plant roots are simply not present. And that results in uh, increased, since you're getting increased uptake of water and fertilizer from the, from the area of the, of the growing media or the soil where the plant roots are not present, that will therefore reduce uh, the onset of nutrient deficiency if, there's, if the soil or the media is lacking fertilizer. It can also delay wilting from lack of water uptake, again, because it can more efficiently mine it out. It also helps to increase uh, resistance to stresses from nutrient deficiency drought, and also environment, which is very important. Keep in mind, too, that the mycorrhizae will stay with the plant throughout its life cycle, so you don't have to reapply it, which is nice. So once you take that plant from, let's say, a plug tray or a smaller unit out into either a grow bag pot or out into the soil environment, you'll see that the plants will transition better into their new environment because the mycorrhizae will help them with the stress of transplant shock. This increased vigor overall results in better production of, well, 
first of all, you get usually larger plants, which then produce better and higher yields of peppers, uh, especially in situations where you see stressing occur from either too much or lack of nutrition. In one case study, we had a field pepper grower actually see an 18% increase in the total weight of peppers produced by each individual plant. The second active ingredient that we use is the biofungicide. The biofungicide is a bacterium called Bacillus subtilis. Basically colonizes the, the uh, root tips of the pepper plants and is present with the pepper plants throughout the entire crop production cycle. It suppresses damping off, crown rot, and root rot diseases caused by the fungal pathogens Alternaria, Fusarium, Pythium, and Rhizoctonia. So if you can reduce the total amount of, of uh, let's say, or, re or suppress your fungal pathogen population, this in turn means you can reduce your fungicide drenches by up to 50%, or in some cases, completely eliminate them in the greenhouse production cycle. So that'll save you money on having to apply drenches. And the bottom line is you get reduced plant loss. So if you have more plants, that means you can actually acquire more uh, fruit per acre or hectare of field space or greenhouse space. Your third active ingredient option is the best of both worlds. It's mixing together both the biofungicide and mycorrhizae in the same product. So you can receive the benefits of both active ingredients in one product. 